Thomas Edison was about the first to put her in moving pictures. He took these in 1898. In 1917, Charlie Chaplin made a comedy called The Immigrant, and the statue got her first big break. She didn't have a speaking role, but then nobody else did either. It has come to symbolize hope for oppressed peoples everywhere. Over the course of a century, Miss Liberty has seen the New York skyline, which once she dwarfed, rise and break... The rest, as they say in Hollywood, is history. The ladies played comedy, co-starring with Daryl Hannah recently in Splash, the Disney movie about a naked sea creature. The statue is a gift from French citizens and has come to symbolize hope for naked women everywhere. Bocce balls! What? Yes, she has done all kinds of movies, some tired, some poor, some terrific. Adventure, Escape from New York, Sci-Fi, The Brother from Another Planet, Musicals, Funny Girl, and she has done history. In The Godfather Part Two, she helped show us how it must have been, that moment of great emotion, when so many from so far away first caught sight of her in the harbor. in Planet of the Apes, she served as a warning of how it might be in the future, a ruined replica of the statue symbolizing the doom of a civilization that destroyed itself. The lady has served as backdrop for high melodrama, no pun intended. Remo Williams was pursued by the bad guys through the scaffolding when the statue was getting her touch on. But the most famous statue scene actually used a stand-in. Alfred Hitchcock's saboteur, with the Nazi spy getting what he deserved, not in New York Harbor, but on a soundstage at Universal Studios. She has been a remarkable leading lady, working with everyone from Chaplin to Superman, and still looks great in close-ups. Matter of fact, if you could give a statue a statue, she certainly should get an Oscar. The envelope, please. This is David Browning. Liberty is a monumental statue, 305 feet from the ground to the tip of her torch, and restoring her, fixing her insides, putting a new gleam on her torch, was a monumental task. All the music and all the speeches tonight should not overshadow the many months of painstaking work and the many workers who brought this new glory to Lady Liberty. Charles Osgood looks now at this labor of love. During these last two years of reconstruction, the international team of workers developed deep respect and appreciation for the original builders of the statue a century ago. There's no job like this in the world. All hammered out copper. Riveted. You have to be impressed by the closeness of it. 